There are three parables in the daily reading today, and the first one is about the lampstand, the idea that everything that is hidden will be revealed. And so having started our parables um, with one about the heart, it's potentially really scary, everything being revealed, right? Well, Jesus didn't give us this so that we'll be scared. So let's think through this and pray through this today. Close your eyes. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the Word of God. Focus on these words today. Mark 4.22 says, For whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed, and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. I don't know about you, but there are things about me that I don't want to be disclosed or brought out into the open. In fact, I would have them remain hidden and concealed. So why would Jesus say that they should be disclosed? Well, let's remember that Jesus would never say this to harm us. His whole character and orientation is to heal, save and restore. So he says these words to bring about our good, not our harm. When we leave things hidden, they remain in the dark. In the dark, they cannot be dealt with. They're like fungus reproducing, expanding and taking up more space in the dark places. Things that get brought into the light are able to be dealt with. They lose their power when they're exposed. It has been made into a joke because of certain people in power talking about what they aren't experts in. But even this coronavirus is impacted by heat and by light. We can feel so scared about owning stuff in our lives that is hidden. The thought of exposure can bring great anxiety. But who wants a virus that can be deadly, silently growing and subtly grasping for more space in our lives? Will you trust our strong Jesus with your hidden stuff? The first prayer is to simply acknowledge it before him. Right now, why don't you acknowledge what you would prefer to remain concealed before Jesus? Out loud, own and give him that stuff. Now, let's pray for wisdom. It may be that you need to own that stuff before someone else as well. You might need to confess it in order to receive healing. James says, confess your sins to one another that you might be healed. This may be talking about our bodies because hidden and shoved down things can affect us physically, but more likely it's talking about healing from that thing itself. Let's pray today. Jesus, I acknowledge all the hidden and concealed things before you. I receive your forgiveness and I ask for your help to move beyond it. However, it is easier to let you know you don't tend to tell anyone, but you do tell me to tell someone. Lord, I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to risk anything, but I also don't want to risk our relationship. Please, would you give me the wisdom to know who this needs to be confessed to and the courage to confess it. In your strong name, Jesus. Amen.